Got a Battlefield 1 news drop for you today. As always, I'm trying to keep you guys in the know as much as possible. So let's get started. Alex Grondahl, executive producer for Battlefield 1 at DICE Stockholm, has now confirmed another major game update will be coming in February. Now, when I say game update, I mean a patch. Not a content DLC like They Shall Not Pass. This means DICE are keen to change and improve a few things about Battlefield 1, although they aren't giving away anything as to what's going to be in that patch at the moment. Now, I for one seriously hope we see some changes made to the grenades in the game at the moment in that patch that's coming in February. It's been a bugbear of mine for a while that you can have two gas grenades equipped on your player when you spawn in over most of the other lethal grenades only equipping one. The gas problem not only causes a nuisance to your enemies and spamming them in their general direction obviously will cause them some pain, but it actually causes random weapon sway to yourself if you stand in a friendly gas grenade. That sounds really, really silly to me, and it affects your teammates as well. So throwing them doesn't just hurt the enemy, it hurts you and your team as well. Now I really hope that DICE do away with the effects that it's having on your own team's aim at the moment, and simply reduces it to a green visual haze for all of your teammates. It should still do damage to you, if you don't have the gas mask on for yourself though, it is your grenade after all, but why should it negatively affect the rest of your team when you intended to throw it to hurt the enemy? Doesn't make much sense to me, and I hope DICE change it. On top of that, I'd love to see more controls added to the rental servers. In an update around Christmas time, DICE did release some interesting notes on the things that they're working on when it comes to the rental server system, such as password protection, kick and ban features, and an admin panel within the multiplayer game menu, so you can access certain features without having to leave the game. That's a big improvement over what we have right now, but in my opinion, those features should have already been there on the day that rental servers were launched for Battlefield 1. Not being able to kick and ban players, not being able to lock your server to unwanted guests, and really just not having full control of a server that you've paid money for severely dents the gameplay experience that you might be trying to create. It looks like DICE are doing the right thing now, and that should be commended, but I do feel these options should have been first in line to be implemented, or really, they should have been there on day one. Some new gameplay options will be added in the future, like squad leader only spawn, you can turn that on and off in your custom server. You'll also be able to toggle the behemoths on and off if you want to as well. And the final option that's been listed is forcing a whole reload for your magazine, which is an option that a lot of players in hardcore would like to see in some other custom servers. The feature list for these rental servers is growing longer and longer with each update that we get, and that is a good thing if you want to run a server in Battlefield 1, but DICE are still playing catch up here in comparison to some of their older titles. Also, you might have been aware that rental servers have been struggling to get to the top of the server browser lists when they've got players in them. So a lot of the time you're just playing with half the amount of players that could actually fit into your server. So maybe you're only playing a 12v12 conquest or 6v6 rush and your server just isn't filling properly because your server isn't very visible within that server browser. DICE are now working on new ways to make sure rented servers become more discoverable within that server browser if they're running a custom rule set, which most of them will be. This again is very good for the community because if custom rented servers start to appear in that browser more regularly, different gameplay experiences will start to emerge. If the community are the ones running the servers and changing the rule sets and creating different experiences, then I don't think we would be so reliant on the custom game system that DICE are running at the moment, like Fog of War, Eye to Eye, and all the different game modes that I've showcased here on my channel, I don't think we'd be so reliant on those to change the gameplay if we had more options and more discoverable servers so that we could play different experiences 
all of the time. Custom games are still a really cool way to play Battlefield 1, and it really does change up the way that you play, but sometimes having it driven by the community, as it was in Battlefield 4 almost, is a much better way of doing things. Now as I said, there has been no official information actually released regarding the February update yet, but if there was ever a time to submit your suggestions to the forums, that would be right now. DICE even say in the article that one of the main sources of change in the game is through community feedback. So it's definitely worth saying your bit today, link to the forums is down in the description. Go and tell DICE what you want changed or added. Also in the forum post is information regarding two new custom games coming to Battlefield 1. One of them is live right now, it's called Armored Kill, and it removes scouts from Conquest and shortens the vehicle respawn time. So it's just all about vehicles. I played a few rounds yesterday, and as I'm sure you know, I'm not really very competent in vehicles, and it's not really my idea of fun in Battlefield 1, so this game mode is really not my cup of tea. But if vehicles are your thing, make sure you give it a go. But the next one, which DICE have told us about, is called Bleed Out, and it's a custom version of Rush where players will be able to respawn faster at the expense of health, not regenerating if you're her. Now, simply because this is a Rush custom game, I'm instantly more excited than I am over the other one, and that one will be going live on January the 18th. The other one, Armored Kill, is live right now. I'm still waiting for DICE to announce my Trench Warfare game mode as a custom mode in Battlefield 1. I genuinely think it was one of the best ways to play as infantry in the game right now. If you missed that video, you can check it out here. Genuinely one of the best infantry experiences I've ever had in an FPS game. Bolt action rifles, fog and trenches. It was really, really cool. DICE also mentioned They Shall Not Pass, the DLC coming in March again. I think all of us are excited for that one. Four new maps, five new weapons, new game modes, and potentially a new behemoth as well, all centered around the French army. Now here's to hoping the weapons present a little bit more of a grind in progression than what we currently have in the game. No unlocks between rank three and 10 in the four classes, has left quite a few people wanting a lot more from this game. And that's it. Not a huge amount to really go on, not much information in there at all, but at least we know DICE will be dropping a big game patch in February, which I will definitely be looking forward to, and as soon as we've got more information about it, you know I'll be bringing you that information right here. Hopefully, I can do another video where we go over the patch notes, pick out some of the best stuff that's coming, and we can highlight that, and I can get your opinions on it. That worked really well for Giant Shadow, and I'd love to do that again. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments. I'd love to get some of your opinions about what you think should be included in that February update. And if you've got something that you really want DICE to know about, I've linked the forums down in the description, as I've said. You can go and check them out, create your own post, and let the developers know what you're thinking. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.